he didn't want me to do it. And I, we got into the biggest fucking fight. My mom's crying. I'm crying. And he said, I, what do you think you have to offer? I said, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to fucking suck, but I got to give this a shot. And it ultimately, it got to a place where I said, either you're going to help train me. I'm asking you to help train me or uh, I'll, I'll go to somebody else. And at that time, Bret Hart and that whole family had his dungeon up in Calgary. I said, maybe I'll go to Calgary. He agreed to train me. But I realized he didn't want to see that happen because he was he felt like, hey, look around. Like I, I, I and I was one of the successful ones in wrestling, but I got a little fucking apartment that I got. I can't even afford to pay 500 bucks a month. I don't want this for you. Mm. So we got into a huge fight. He eventually trained me. I call a guy after three months of training, call a guy named Pat Patterson, who was Vince McMahon's right hand man. Very brilliant mind in the world of pro wrestling. First openly gay wrestler tough motherfucker I call him up because my parents knew him and I said hey Pat this is Dwayne Johnson who Dwayne Johnson uh, Rocky Johnson's son oh yeah what do you want hey, I'm gonna uh, I'm trying I'm training to get in the business what fucking business <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a recurring theme everybody's like what fucking business the wrestling business why the fuck do you want to do that you're just feeling like you're just getting bombed right, right, right. left and right by these OGs so I said I'd love for you to come down and just watch me train and if I got anything to offer just let me know and if I don't just let me know that, that's all I want he agreed he came down watched me train he said to me as we're training he goes can you work as a heel which is as you know bad guy in wrestling parlance yeah. I said sure I'd love to <clears throat> start the match I work as a heel more aggressive dirty sh- cheating stuff right um, he goes okay done done and I trained in a boxing ring. And as you know, boxing rings are fucking hard. It's like this. Right? Mm. It's getting suplexed on the fucking table. So it really hurt. That's how I came up in wrestling. He's smoking a cigarette. <sighs> I said, what do you think? Do I have anything? He goes, um, yeah, you just keep working. Take care of yourself and leaves. And I was like, did I just fuck? Because he, he, he had a lot of power. He was like the vice president of WWE. I said, okay, well, thank you so much for coming out. And I said, just just keep working. He goes, just keep working. Kind of blew me off. Kept smoking a cigarette and walked off. And I was like, man, I think I really fucked things up. Or maybe I'll, I'll take his word for face value. Take it for gospel. I'll just keep working. Little I knew, he went home and he called Vince McMahon. He said, you got to see this fucking kid. And Vince said, who? Rocky Johnson's son. He goes, all right, let me see him. Bring him out this month, this Monday on Raw. And well, I'll throw him out in a match before the show starts. Whoa. Corpus Christi, 15,000 people. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, 